Test microphone. Hey, good morning, Wild Craze. How's your Tuesday so far? Starting at uh, Ango India Sierra X ray again. I'm gonna try and look at that. Neopad is working today. Isn't that amazing? I didn't really do anything. I, I reinstalled it one more time. I had done that the other day too and it didn't work, but today it worked. Today the computer chose to say, here, have a Neopad working. I protect you. And we are in the US Virgin Islands. I want to get over to Jamaica. I'm going to start with this uh, mission here to uh, Papa Romeo 18 in uh, Vieges. I don't even know. Vieques? Vieques, the name of it. I don't know if you see the motor, so I'll be at the backseat for now. Copy that. Thanks for coming by. You're welcome to sit in the backseat. I was going to update, I'm working on an update to my BN2 Islander library, including a uh, back seat, uh, including seats, colors, nice uh, to make it much more colorful inside of the airplane. But uh, it wasn't quite ready for this particular stream, maybe for the one in the afternoon, but most likely for the one tomorrow. So, um, here, I'll start a multi-player server thing. Or maybe I'll do this one alone. Okay. Oh, let's do the multiplayer. Right click. Live with friends. Server. Boom. Alright. Want to load some robots in Ghost Recon yesterday? I was going to stream some Elite, but then I decided to drop off at Timmy Thumb's stream and uh, meet him in space for the first time yesterday. Elite Odyssey, he got it for PC. Maybe I'll do some Elite Odyssey streaming later. Hi, pilot. New mission. New passengers. Five passengers. The most I've ever taken. Boarding. This is the most I've ever taken. Five passengers. We need 900 pounds inside this airplane. Dispatch. Boarding passenger, please stand by. Thank you. 
All right. Passengers are boarding. And uh, once they're boarded, we're gonna start it up and go for a flight, the usual. Another thing that I have been experimenting with. Transporter from dispatch. All passengers on board. You can ask for the clearance to take off. Copy dispatch. We're just getting a few things uh, sorted out here before. We'll be talking to air traffic control shortly. Yeah, one thing I've been experimenting with uh, yesterday uh, was um, I got my my Wacom, uh, not Wacko, it's not like a Wacko Texas or a Wacko person. It's um, my Wacom tablet, and uh, it's just a digital drawing tablet, and I got that working on the PC. So now I could draw here on the stream if I want, but my issue is I'm looking for a I'm looking for a I would use Photopea, that's not a problem, but the problem is there's a sidebar, okay? In Photopea, there's a sidebar that usually displays ads. I don't, I, I don't want to play 40 another... I, I may have to in the end if I don't find a better option, but I don't want to pay for more software rental. I, I want like a really simple uh, thing. I, I, I would use Paint 3D that I can overlay on the screen and then draw on it and it will draw on the screen. I'll show you, okay? But uh, that's, um, but Paint 3D, um, that'll be perfect, but uh, OBS is not picking it up for some reason. I could use regular paint. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Let's see. Let's see if I can, uh, if, if window, if Microsoft Flight Simulator will crash. Or... I got one of these things, the Wacom, it's just this is what I use for my, you know, day job, the graphic design stuff. And it has a pen. Digital pen, what a, an interesting piece of technology. It's like a this is an, actually an antenna, no battery. It's just an antenna, and when you put it on the digital tablet, um, the distance of this based on the tablet and the and changes uh, uh, communicates the computer and uh, and it uh, translates it into little pixels on your screen. I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. I'm gonna add um, really quick an OBS over here. Uh, what was it? I think it's a window capture. Window capture an existing one. Call it paint. All right, and it's not. Uh, where is it? Let's try Photopea. Okay. Bye. I can come over here. There's Photopea, and here I could uh, open, I already saved this er earlier, an annotations PSD with this green background. Capture graphics software in OBS, make sure hardware acceleration is disabled. Okay, I'll check that out. Um, that's in the settings, huh? Okay, we could try that with the paint read in a little bit, but first I just want to show you what, what I'm trying to do here. Alright, so this is Photopea. Uh, I have a green background, I can make another layer. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll get this, the, the paintbrush. And uh, basically... There's... Yeah, that's... Not working now. What's the issue? Is that oh I had the display capture, okay. Let's try this. I'll put game capture. Back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. And I want to be able to do this for later for doing some art stream things. Right. Now my paint thing is up here. And um I go back to Photopea and make it large. There you go. There you go, that's full screen. 
right? A little bit confusing, but um, I'll show you. Okay, so see the sidebar over my head over here? Like, this is a photo pair thing where the ads usually appear. I mean, I, I'm running an ad, ad blocker that don't appear. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll pay a subscription or add another subscription, but I would like to use just a regular program. And what, what this will allow me to do in the future is, uh, let's come in here. Let's see if my Wacom is working. And we'll be able to annotate games kind of like those, you know, basketball player, uh, basketball uh, uh, um, aficionados that they annotate plays and stuff. So we could come here and I could do something like this. I could look at the, the look at the engine here. There's something wrong there. Uh, look at uh, the, you know, there's a follower thing and uh, and that sort of stuff. And so that's coming. I'm still working on it to try to find the best... Uh, the best uh, thing. Thank you for being here. Uh, oh yeah, wild craze. I can put that. And so that's gonna be a fun thing that's coming to the stream. I just want to show you a, a quick preview here. All right. <laughs> Very quick preview of uh, of what I'm trying to do here with this. Um, I'm not gonna do it now because it's not ready yet. But um, that's a, that's a, that's a, hey Dom, I'm good, how are you? But that's a nice tip, make sure hardware acceleration is disabled for graphics software in OBS, huh? And that's a setting, a, 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 and that's a, basically a, a global setting in OBS? Or is it in a, a particular uh, cat, uh, source? Take a look at my... Looks like it'll be a general set. Okay, maybe it's something I'm gonna have to do. Maybe I can do a keyboard shortcut to enable disable hardware acceleration. Something I'm gonna jump in and out of continuously in the uh... oh in the graphics software. Okay, interesting. I try to fire up uh, Paint Microsoft Paint and see if uh, that has graphics acceleration uh, um, enabled. Graphic. No, paint. Oh, that's paint. That's a regular one. Paint. Paint 3D is what I'm looking. Paint 3D. This is the one I would like to use. Okay, let's see if I can get back to it. It's picking it up now. I think. Um. Take a look. Got a crayon here. We'll make it just a, a nice uh, blue. All right, that's picking it up on the display capture. But my trick with this is I uh, I wanted to do it with window capture so I can put the the chroma filter, and that wasn't working. So I'm going to look here based on Wild Crazy's uh, tip there if there is a setting. Um, to disable hardware acceleration. This, I have no clue where these settings are. This is one thing I really prefer on the Mac than in Windows. Is like the Mac has the menu bar up here, so whatever application you use, it's always up there. File preference are always going to be over in the same place. And these Windows apps, and it's coming in these iOS apps, it's like all over the place. You know, you get lost every time you use a new application. It's a pain in the butt. But uh, yeah, so I don't see the preferences for paint. But we're gonna get back to it later. I'm just going to. Um, if it works, then it's not an issue. Copy. Yeah. Well, now it's. it's I don't think it's working here because. Uh, well, let's try it. And I wanted to. If you want to make it a green color, here's a link. Uh, I just uh, found it on the internet. Uh, the the colors that are. Uh, that you want to use for your chroma screen which is basically what makes things go transparent this place is a green uh, 0 0 b 140 so let's uh, just uh, put it over here on the hex color 0 0 b 140 and i'm going to is there a paint bucket here i can use let's see there's the bucket uh there it is paint bucket boom that's green but uh, that is not, it, it doesn't seem to work on uh, with display, uh, this is display capture here. Uh, let's try to turn on game capture again. Let me go up to paint again. 
and let's switch that to paint studio view and uh, yeah yeah not working and I, and I and I looked this up uh, for some reason paint 3d it doesn't get picked up by OBS maybe it's because it has hardware accelerate three uh, hardware acceleration by default I don't see a way to turn it off so my next uh, Google search is gonna be how to turn off 3d acceleration for uh, or paint okay but for now uh we're just gonna fly because i don't want to spend uh, all the stream uh, troubleshooting issues here okay yeah back to jamaica i mean back to the caribbean i want to fly west to jamaica i'm a little bit discombobulated today like because i've been i wanted to get this working before the stream but it uh that uh, has not come to pass Wait for later on. So we have some passengers in here already. Let's uh, get this BN2 started. Make sure that the propeller is full. Our parking brake uh, is activated. And uh, let's start with the electrical systems and the lights as usual. Uh, cabin lights we don't need. And on the instruments the avionics if you look back here i am working on a change in the color of these seats here oh and uh okay the the passengers are supposed to be in but we have to make sure we have five here okay so uh let's give a 180 let's go back to neofly and see what they wanted it's a total of 900 pounds we have five passengers okay but you have to be careful we burn. got burned again uh making bread in the oven much tougher than I am. I'd probably be crying and I wouldn't be able to stream if I got, had gotten burned. But you're just putting some aloe on it. It should be okay. Okay. One, one two, three, four, uh, five. But that's with the pilot. We need one more. Let's leave it like that. And uh, and we just put everything else to zero. I'm not sure if, about the baggage. You can see the plane, the airplane moving as we're doing this. The weight of the airplane, like if we put some really heavy baggage on the back, it will it will affect the weight of the airplane. The airplane will actually move. Uh, so, for example, let's say like one of these uh, tourists here was uh, some sort of uh, photographer maniac, and he was carrying like two Canon 5D Mark III's and a full set of Canon EOS lenses uh, and a back on Nikon system and uh, battery packs and solar chargers and everything, and it all weighed about 1,000 pounds. Okay. Boom, look at that, the plane moves, okay? Like it simulates the weight. <laughs> but our total is about 900, okay? We are right now uh, at 2,000. Let's get rid of that uh, uh, imaginary thing. And let's make a, a couple, a few of these pilots here, a little, a few of these passengers a little lighter to match the weight that we're supposed to be doing on, on this mission. That's some pretty light people out here. Okay, 920. Okay, let's so uh, 160. Maybe there's a couple of kids going as well. Who knows? Or maybe they're dogs. They're considered passengers as well, or cats, or birds, or whatever. One, two, three, four, five passengers. We are at 900 pounds. We are correct. Everything is fine. All right. So uh, let's keep moving. Editing this playlist. The songs are like better than others. Right. And, uh, okay. That's the payload. Uh, I'm going to close the doors. And, uh, I'll tell Vinny out there to clean the prop after we activate the fuel valves. And, uh, we'll, we'll put on the magnetos, both for the port and the starboard engine. Clear prop, Vinny. Let's check sound level, standby. And the starboard one. Alright. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Sounding pretty good. 
I can talk to the tower. As always, if uh, the engine sounds too loud, just let me know. I'm still uh, with the new BN2 Islander update of these sounds. I'm still uh, getting my sound levels adjusted. Alright. With Quebec. You have to learn what all that stuff means. Quebec and Oscar and all this stuff. Launch the taxi clearance. 1 0 via taxiway alpha. That's us. Neo, Neopad is working today, we can see. We can actually zoom in with Neopad here and see. It gives you a little satellite map of where we are. Look at that. Uh, here, I can make it bigger so you can see. If it works. Oh! That's not working. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Okay. We're gonna have to taxi all the way to the other side. And uh, today's flight is gonna take us uh, on a bearing of roughly, uh, I'm estimated about 300. So before we go off of the taxi, uh, let's come down here and uh, set our heading bug to roughly 300 degrees. No, one degree can change a lot, but we're this is VFR. We're gonna be leaving autopilot for a bit, and mostly fly this manually. And uh, let's go. Drop by to say hello to the Flying Fabio back streaming today, which is excellent. Good to see. Quite a bit of wind there. Looks like about a 12, 13 knot wind from this distance. We're gonna have to taxi all the way to the other side. The BN2 doesn't take too long to take off, so maybe we're just to go right in the middle of the runway. Although well, there is no rush. We have Sierra India Lima 115 jet over here. I don't know if they're leaving or or arriving. Doesn't mean anything as much when air traffic information system is updated, the next letter is assigned as a designator. When communicating with tower, you include which one you listen to and they'll know if you have the latest info. Oh, that's really interesting. That's really that's really interesting information. So when you say with Quebec, they're like, okay, so when uh, that he's got the information that we last updated that, uh, that was designated Quebec. So the next one will be Unicorn or Uniform, as uh, like saying. The correct, that sounds... Uh, learning experience here. Thank you, Wildcrays. Together with the update of... Uh, of... Uh, Of the light of the uh, seats of this airplane we're also going to have an update of uh of the external library and we some some changes to the external library here that's coming likely in tomorrow's stream let's go all the way to the end since we got the Taxi for a hundred miles or a hundred kilometers achievement. Uh, I will dedicate this long taxi to that achievement we completed yesterday. I have about 15 to go to complete the Microsoft Flight Simulator. One of them is a very long flight, I think, all the way to uh, from a Sobo Studios in France all the way to Microsoft headquarters, I think, in uh, Seattle somewhere. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, jump. This is going to be changing soon. I mean, maybe the one, two, jump is going to stay there, but... Uh, the airplane is going to become a little more colorful in the coming days.
maybe a little bit more used up as well that's a bit, a bit further in the future here let's just turn over here i think this is enough runway for us this sounds like a flying land rover now the sound update a horde short here and we asked air traffic control for permission to take off Acknowledge that clearance and we'll be good to go. For this takeoff, I want to try flyby view. I'm going to quickly increase the drone speed here because my shortcuts for the drone speed seem to have been erased by the last update. I have to update those again, so I'm just going to go right in here to the camera. Drone speed, let's put it pretty fast. And let's go all the way back here. And we're going to try a flyby for this takeoff. Gonna leave the drone all the way over here. Over here, I think that's gonna be enough. A little bit further, let's go all the way to the end of the runway almost. There. Leave it around there. I'll disable, uh, press tab to, to disable tracking. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, get going. Don't forget to turn on those auxiliary fuel pumps, both the left side and the right side. Flaps are at takeoff position and full power, here we go. Rotate. Transporter from dispatch. Fly safe. Oh, go a little fast, go a little high. Put a little higher, but that's all right. Had to put a little higher, that's all right. And another one a little addition to the cockpit you might have not have noticed. I've lost so many BN2 lately that look at that, I put a boom over there to remind myself that uh, if I get too far up that yellow line, the airplane will uh, disintegrate. So we have that addition to the cockpit here. We're going to be doing a bunch of other little stickers, all right. Funky black fox on the corner of the face can. Oh yeah, what is that? Let me fix that. Let me. I'll just put on the autopilot and I'll try to fix that. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, let me just do this for now. There you go. I think it's my. Uh, it's just a little one of the one of the pins here um, holding my green screen up. Got a little low. Thanks, Walk Chris. I'm gonna do a, once I get on the autopilot here. I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, sound management here. I have to look at the engine setting. I have to look at the Microsoft Flight Simulator setting. tired today, I must admit. Let's turn off those auxiliary fuel pumps. Let's put the flaps up. That'll be good. A little bit of weather out there. 
but nothing our flying Land Rover shouldn't be able to handle. And I didn't put the... We're going to uh, pop a Romeo 1-8. Let's set that up here. Oh, quite a bit of turbulence. Better acknowledge that before they get upset. One aid. Oh, had it. There you go. Yes, please. PDI is a GPS. Let's stay at about. Uh, 2500 feet autopilot nav mode I think we're good to go hey good afternoon Kerr how are you A little black spot was up there okay that's the green screen Autopilot is engaged. I forgot to check my fuel levels before I took off. All right, I have like three quarters of a tank. That shouldn't be. That should be okay. It moved, cool. <laughs> yeah, I moved it. <laughs> Dom and Hello made out good until I got hammered by another behemoth. Have taken out an entire airfield crawling of enemies and drones. Oh dear. engaged okay double check that yeah We are on the in the Caribbean, ladies and gentlemen, flying with live weather, live air traffic, and live time here. I'm gonna do a little bit of experimentation with the sound levels. Now, this airplane in real life it is a loud beast, okay? Because there's these two light combing engines, right? Right by basically your ears, one in each ear. So it's like instead of putting headphones, you put like a light combing engine by your ear. So it's it's a loud thing. This okay. So it is a loud plane in real life. Luckily, you can adjust the engine uh, sounds uh, independent of uh, independently of uh, other sounds. Microsoft Flight Simulator. I do wish there was a uh, option to adjust external engine sounds independently from internal engine sounds. Uh, my current solution to not have deafening roar when you're outside of the airplane is to just move the camera a little bit further and then uh, just zoom in a little bit, okay? Uh, like that. And uh, another another item for the Asobo wish list that I have is uh, I would like, uh, you know, see these little propellers here? I would like them to... to uh, do a better provide a better a way to do a better job at how these things look because if you look at for example in dcs it looks pretty especially after one of the last updates it looks pretty 
damn nice, the, the propellers there. I mean, this looks all right, but I can kind of tell it's a little, you know, it's like a, almost like a sprite there animation. Dom says, uh, I'm guessing this breakpoint, that sounds really rough. Yeah. Fur is definitely talking about breakpoint there. I can leave a uh, Neopad is working, though the icon there is not for some reason, but um, it should be working. Let's see. Let's see if uh, we'll get a, a, a bearing on our airplane here. Yeah, there we are. We left uh, St. Croix. The US Virgin Islands are near Synchro and we're heading towards uh, Papa Romeo 18 in the Vieques Islands, I think it's called. Leave a uh, satellite view on there. To take uh, five passengers, I think the most I've ever taken, over to uh, Refugio Nacional de Vida Silvestre Vieques. The National Refuge of of uh, Wildlife of the Vieques Island. I'm not that familiar with the Caribbean, but this is to the east of uh, Puerto Rico. And then we're going to later be proceeding west over the Dominican Republic. Maybe, I don't know if Microsoft Flight Simulator has their Arecibo Observatory there, which unfortunately collapsed last year, but maybe they still put it in somewhere for us to see. Uh, I don't think I've seen the Arecibo Radio Observatory listed as one of the points of interest, but who knows, maybe it's out there. We could go fly over and see, find out where it is. And then maybe keep going west and maybe drop by uh, uh, Jamaica, see where uh, Elias Peaks live. We got Cuba right here, and look how close Cuba is to the Bahamas and to Florida. Key West is right there, Cuba is right here. It's about, about 90 kilometers, ladies and gentlemen, between La Havana and Key West. That is crazy how close it is in terms of physical distance and uh, you know how far the governments keep from each other often which is unfortunate but uh, you know, that's life in planet earth at the moment. Here it says I was talking about my secret double identity. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look with our... Uh, I'll do a quick pause. I, I don't think that bothers Neofly pauses, but I want to take a quick look at general options and the sound settings for uh, this particular air... this particular engine level, okay? Um, uh, there you go, aircraft engine. See, for this airplane, I put it down to here. Let, let me put it on maximum for you to hear what it's like, okay? It doesn't see a big change there, but you can see also here my sound levels on the computer. Look how low Microsoft Flight Simulator is. If I put it loud, okay, you're ready? I'm going to put it loud, okay? I'm going to put it max. That's how loud this airplane sounds, okay? So that's why I put that down there. So it's a bunch of jiggling around of these sound levels. Um, because it's not just the engines, you have to hear air traffic control and I want to be able to hear all that stuff. So basically what I do is I come here and for this airplane in particular, I leave it down around 60, around a little bit below even. Let's leave it at 60, see how it sounds like, okay. Little bit of some uh, lights, little mists, potentially rain out there in the distance. With that shade, I always try to get a seat as far back as possible to get away from the props. Yeah, those, those turbo props, man. Wow. Like a blast of sound. Not just air, but of sound into your ears. Look at this nice little rain cloud here. They're not very dark clouds, but there's a little rain coming out of them. You can see the mist. And that's how this planet works, like, or how water works. You know, the sun heats up the earth, and then the water evaporates. It becomes clouds. 
and then the, the changes in temperature and uh, also and the you can like seed clouds with like drones these days i heard uh oh there's a see th those little lines are a little weird i hadn't seen that before i don't know if it's from the latest sim update and then the clouds turn into rain and the rain comes back down and so it's like a system you know it's a system that uh how the universe works isn't it crazy that trees are are made of air and and of sunlight and, uh, and of course there's minerals in the ground and stuff but uh the energy from the sun is converted into tree trunks into leaves into all that good stuff we have on the ground where you don't cut too many of them up there in the distance we can see uh vieques i don't know if that's how you uh pronounce it We got Shakespeare, Shaker Pepper out there. I thought it was Shakespeare, but nope. We got the Otado Braga. We got Songo, Silent Partner. What is behind us? Claudia, New York City, three, four, seven, eight out there. When I was young and still hopeful, I thought low tides were caused by sun evaporating the sea. Then after a while, it started raining. <laughs> that is awesome. I, I love the you know the, I, I miss the yeah the cra the imagination of you sometimes I can get it back a little bit if I have like uh alter my mind a little bit but uh but I do miss the uh the creativity the pure unfettered creativity of you if later you know school and like kind of tries to clamp you down and make you like uh make you less um I'm gonna turn these down a little lower, these engines. It makes you less uh, imaginative. You just have to fight to stay imaginative because the, the society will try to get you to conform and to you know, follow the rules. And, you know, you have to, like, getting older, you also learn a little bit about the battles you can win and the battles that's better not fighting. But uh, it is a constant thing to give the big ship there to keep learning and. Uh, not lose that sense of creativity and of playfulness that we have as kids. A flat earther be still believes that. <laughs> I had a discussion of someone who th wasn't sure about if the earth was flat or not once, and I told him, you know, someone here in New York City, and I told him, look, Go. Have you ever been on a boat, or have you ever been in, uh, you know, on Coney Island, or, in, or preferably in the Rockaways, and looked at uh, at a ship in the distance, a sailboat, on a clear day, appear over the horizon, you know? And if you have bad eyes, you know, get some binoculars or something. But if you've ever seen that, it'd be pretty clear that you know the the top of the sail appears first, not the hull. And if you're coming to New York City the other way around, you're going to see the top of like the Empire State Building or one of the other big buildings before you see, you know, the city. And that's for me, it's, you know, it's, you put like a little ball and, uh, and I, don't, I don't know if I have a ball here, like a, a little ball and you put a little stick here and you're coming up the, the top of the stick, you color it and you color the top of the stick yellow and the bottom red, okay? And, and as the stick is coming up, or if you got a pencil, the red part there's the red part of the pencil and if you have a ball okay and you put it on the pencil as it turns first you're gonna see like the red part of the pencil and then when it turns more you're gonna see the yellow part and that's a i don't know if there's an easier way to explain to people but that for me is the more visceral way of explaining actually getting a tennis ball or something getting a little pencil painting half of it green and another half blue or something and then showing them okay if it was you know if it was flat you'd see everything appear at once you see the whole thing but since it's not uh, oh the airport is already here i'm talking too much okay go but yeah you know there's always going to be people that are not going to believe things and those people are important too because then it keeps us on our toe I th toes i think nearest airport list i think we're going to papa romeo one eighter that's camp garcia's vieques let's see if they have a tower there they do not have a tower so we're gonna Turn off autopilot and uh, a pro do a low flyby and uh, approach for a 
in preparation for landing. I'm already gonna turn on the auxiliary fuel pumps so I don't forget. And look at that, I've put a little sticker there, ladies and gentlemen, and the little sticker says BOOM! And the reason for that little BOOM sticker is to remind me that if I go too far in that yellow uh, section there of the airspeed, it is BOOM! The game over. Okay. There's gonna be a lot more stickers appearing here, too. Is this the airport we're going to? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. All right, let's see if there's a windsock to let us determine the airspeed. With the update, uh, sim update 5, not many, you can't see things until basically you're on top of them, so some, I don't know, even know if the windsock's there. But I don't see a windsock. We're just gonna have to guess. Uh, I could try Metar. Let's see, Metar, what is this? Papa Romeo 1.8. Papa Romeo 1.8. No Metar available. Let's try Metar Papa Romeo 1.8 with capitals. Maybe it's a Unix system, so it'll actually detect our capital letter or not, but I guess not. Alright, I'm just going to come in from the that side over there. Laps to takeoff position. Let's see if the prediction is activated, the landing prediction, in case you want to tr try to get a, on the leaderboard here. It is activated. The Sim Toolkit Pro bot is standing by. Nice beach there. Thank you, Wow, well, Chris, for the prediction. Hey, sheep, uh, one, two, boss. How are you doing? <laughs> In order of sheep are dropping by here, let's ch let's ch let's change it up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's change it up. Stand by. Yeah. We are coming to land this airplane, ladies and gentlemen. This BN2 Islander is coming in for a landing. I should have used points to ban putting down the landing gear. Uh, you can try, but the problem is, Dom, this plane, uh, it's a fixed landing gear. Look, I can't uh, control it. <laughs> Gorginho Rato out there. That means like little fat rat. It's quite a... Like a, a you know, a cute fat rat. Gorginho. Okay, flaps to full down. Whoa! Van Halen just showed up here? What's going on? <laughs> Some cock rock from the 1980s for you, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like a disused airfield, this place. And maybe some adventurers here. Transporter, almost 
Wow, Craze. Man, Wow, Craze is on top of things here, Shippa. Watch out. 69. <laughs> of course, you know, the big joke of the internet. Sorry, Shippa. Uh, well. And all of a sudden, Tom Morello showed up. That's a thing. Oh, oh, this bread. Bread is coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I've never fully understood the hype about 69. Yeah, me neither. You know, I guess it's like uh, uh, something about, uh, you know, the shape of the numbers. <laughs> Copy that dispatch. Uh, oh, we got the multi bonus here. Sorry, dispatch is talking to someone else, but uh, we're gonna keep proceeding uh, west. This is a question about Neofly. All right, my home base is there, but I'm here. If I stop over here, will my home base change to there since I'm there? If I turn the airplane off, or do they want me to go back to the home base? It used to be that wherever you stayed, uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> let me update Walker this thing and let me have a piece of bread. Oh, delicious. Two sourdough in the house. Cool. Updating landing rate leaderboard standby. Wild Chris keeps climbing away. Wild Chris says, I've been told that's a ref what it's a reference to, but it sounds like something teenagers try to get done in a hurry before parents get home. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I. Can I just stop here and make this my base in Neofly? Yeah, let's try this. Uh, where are we? Papa Romeo 18. Papa Romeo 18. Uh, fly to. Take a new mission while I move to the central stop mode. Predator? No. We're flying still. I guess now they want me to. Uh, Let's try stopping here and see what happens, okay? I'm just gonna turn the plane off. Stand by. Let's go back to the main menu and let's see what Neo Fly does. What is this music? Let's go back to Drone Zone ish now. Okay, back to Neo Fly. Alright, Neo Fly has me over there, okay. Uh, maybe because there's a multiplayer and it ended. And, and the other person has to click end as well, but uh, I'm confused by this because now my plane shows here. I'm over there. Hypertext here, multi. And um, the mission was successful. So let's try this. Let's go to uh, Papa Romeo 18. Set the pilot position there. All right. Oh, that's fine. That worked. Okay. Now I'm here, it detected that my plane is there already. 
I forgot to give uh, this plane, uh, that's bad luck, I forgot to give it uh, a tail number. Alright. Okay, uh, oh, but look, location, it, nope, it put the, lo even though I had flown over here, it put the location back to TISX. So what the heck, so, um, because I am at TISX. So set pilot vision to here, fly to, yes, I agree. All right, so that's a not thing in your fly, because now it magically, you know, it's as if I get there and they have Scotty beam me back to where I was. Which is unfortunate. But I'm here, so I'm gonna have to actually spend some money to get the plane there. I don't understand why that's the case. I'm gonna submit that as a potential issue in the offline. But uh, I'm just gonna go like that. Right, maybe I have. Maybe you know there. You have to sign a license uh, saying, "Okay, uh, I'm gonna work from here now." Right-click on BN2, bring to pilot location. That's gonna cost me 401 as well. That's not too much. All right, now so we're here now. Okay. And now let's see what kind of missions we have over here. At Papa Romeo 18, I want to keep heading west. Uh. Let's do a longer one. Looks like it's just showing wrong. Yeah, maybe I just maybe if I restart Neofly, but it had put me it had put me there. It had actually at the end I ended the mission, or for some reason it tell it told me that I had to end the mission. This one I'm gonna play without multiplayer. Um, I'm gonna play just a regular one and see if that changes things. I'm gonna do another passenger one. Let's do. Um, Let's go all the way to uh, near Santo Domingo. What is this? Uh, this is a VIP. You can't bank and pitch VIP mission. Fly safe and comfortable. Okay. This one net is 30 grand. Let's do that one. Look at all those little clouds from the satellite imagery. That, that zoom level is pretty cool. Let's do that one. Uh, only one passenger. Oh, there's, there's another one that's even more passengers, but it pays less. Because it's closer, okay. Let's do this one, uh, not far from Santo Domingo. It is, uh, oh, very small landing strip. Look at that. Papa Romeo 18 to Mike Delta Lima Lima. I'm gonna go fly. Find your plane in the hangar and search for missions at plane location. Yeah, my, my plane was at the hangar uh, over here. I had to bring it over here after we'll test it one more time at the end of this mission let's let's do a shorter one so we don't have to wait too long to test it let's take uh it was it was a passenger mission so let's um try to find another passenger mission of the same type uh there's no passenger missions right now oh here you go nice it gives you the heading is that the closest one um if i want to keep heading west that's the closest one maybe we should do this one first let's go visit this little island over here this is Tortola. Okay, we'll do a passenger mission over here. Look at eight passengers, full plane. Let's do this. You right click, uh, fly. All right, eight passengers. And uh, a total of 1,458 pounds, 1,458 and passengers. Okay. And we're going to depart from Papa Romeo 18. Camp Garcia's Vieques. Uh, that's the departure right there. And let's get the weight uh, done over here already. Uh, what was it? 1458. One, 1458, eight, eight passengers. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'll get down to 0. One four five eight. How the heck are we gonna? Some people are gonna have to. Oh, that's that won't be too bad. Some people are just gonna have to weigh a little bit less. Four ninety. One four five eight. There we go. 
perfect fly. Transporter from dispatch. It's a passenger mission waiting for you. The boarding will start as soon as you are at the boarding parking. Copy that dispatch. Oh, we're getting ready to go over. Dispatch. Boarding passenger. Please stand by. A little misty here. There's no tower in this airport. All right. Transporter, boarding is complete. You can start your flight. Dispatch, this is Hypertex. We're getting ready over. All right. Oh, the lights. Like a Christmas light, but not something that's getting shot at, but just something that's going to go flying. And we are turning on the lights here. Here on the Avionics Master, we turn, turn on both port and starboard fuel valves. We'll get the magnetos ready to go. We'll say, Vinny, take it easy and clear the props out there. Watch out. Okay. Back on the right side too. We're just right. And uh, let's not forget that I always do to put in the propeller RPM forward. Double check the parking brake is on. It is the starter switch. Fuel pumps are activated. I think that that's when you turn the, the, the fuel, the engines are activated. I think this is when you turn on the fuel pumps. I have to double check the pilot operating handbook of this uh, airplane, but. Uh, Way to go. There is no tower here. We're just gonna tell them, uh, you know, whoever's listening out there that we're taking out. Bread and butter. Not many good things that are better than that. Alright. They're going. Here's a question about bots, okay? If you're familiar with bots on Twitch, I know they're wild crazes. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have lost radio and radar contact with transporter. Please send rescue. Did I hit the wing station. on the building? Is that what happened? Another BN2. Where is Icebird? Another BN2, ladies and gentlemen. Where is Icebird? For goodness sake. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm uh, fired. My my pilot is <laughs> crashed qualification B. I must have I mean I must have hit the wing on that thing or something. I didn't think I was that close to it, but wow. I have to pay more attention, I guess. There you go, Jimmy Bots. <laughs> Find your. Uh, I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> are you talking about bots or are you talking about uh, crasher? My question about bots before this crash was if you have a bot standing in your chat and you can tell who's in your chat by going, switch and clicking a little little um gear icon and if, if you see something that's always there that's probably a bot right is that bad good or bad should you like you know report it to twitch or what all right let's change gears here i'm not gonna flash sensor right now because it's called bn2 
What I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Excuse me. I didn't have breakfast before. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the BN2 Islander. We're gonna look at a for a YouTube video first of this crazy landing, okay? We wanna watch this YouTube video together. And then we're gonna try to replicate it. Because we still have uh, an hour to go here, and I want to stick with the BN2 now, but I don't want to get another loan <laughs> right now, Mark. In uh, or or I don't know. What do you think, Chat? Should I should I just get another loan and to hell with it? Let's let's do it like this. Let's go back to Neofly, and let's see if the airport we're in has a BN2 under for sale. It does. It has a BN2 under for sale. It's only five hundred thousand. That's not too bad. We're only, you know, uh, a million dollars in debt here. <laughs> let's take another loan, okay? Let's take, uh, how much they cost? 500,000. Let's take, um, ooh, not big. Let's take, uh, here you go. Let's take a $600,000 loan. No, Jimmy Boss is, uh, and I don't, it was it because I wasn't insured too, I think. I had forgotten to click insurance. Wow. Let's take another loan, you know, since Jimmy has uh, friends at high places. Uh, right click, execute loan. Boom, now we only owe uh, $1,500,000 or so. And I'm going to go back here. I'm going to right click on this BN2 under. I'm going to buy. We brought a new brought a new BN2 under, another BN2. I'm going to go to hangar. I'm going to... Let's change the name. What should I give it? Um, Hyper Crash. Hyper crash. Okay, maybe that would be a good luck. All right, we'll fill it up with fuel. Yep. Let's go back to the finance. The, uh, today is what the eighth. Let's pay. A, let's pay a couple of these off. Okay. Let's pay like uh, a little. Not not pay them off, but let's pay fifty thousand over here. Let's pay about uh, fifty thousand over here. Let's go here. Whoa! Hey, Timmy! Thank you for the sub, man. Awesome. Timmy Thumb in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Go and give this gentleman a follow. I met him for the first time in uh, Elite uh, Odyssey yesterday. And uh, it was pretty cool. It was, it was always nice to meet Uh, Shipa says, okay, uh, okay, let's go back to the chat a bit. Uh, Wild Chris says, personally, I ban, if they're not, they're not breaking any rules or just being there, so reporting is not an option. Personally, I ban the ones which sits in hundreds of channels to get them off the viewer list since they're not contributing in any way. Copy that. And Shipa says, yeah, let's just go even further into debt. No problem. We'll pay back in a problem. <laughs> 700,000 years. No problem. <laughs> you know, that's a similar, uh, you know, good morning, Galaxia. That's a similar, uh, you know, that's how ed education works here in the United States. You know, you take a big loan and you just never pay it off. All right. Uh, Wild Cray says one. And thank you so much. Uh, I, I mentioned Tim for that subscription for five months. That's awesome. And uh, a shout out here for Timmy Thumb. Uh, Timmy Thumb, uh, who now has Elite Odyssey. So we will be able to meet up there. I was thinking, Shippo, if you feel like uh, some elite, maybe we should organize a stream, a multi-stream or, or just a, a, a on-foot mission with several people. Maybe Tim could join, maybe I could join, maybe Kirk could join. Maybe if we have a squad of four people, we could turn it more into uh, uh, tied into our side because those those elite missions are tough, right? And um, well, uh, Galaxis, I can't hear anything sitting and waiting until the vaccine people let me go copy that uh congrats on getting the vaccine galaxia i hope you're feeling all right well chris says my pi spy for instance does not appear in chat it doesn't need to copy that all right because i've been seeing a lot of bots appear on my and i'm just curious because you know, i'm an amateur at twitch um oh it's so good yeah we, we, we have a bread and butter for breakfast here a new brand new bread coming out of the kitchen here another sourdough is a giant one i'll show you the whole thing afterwards okay uh, sounds like a plan. I'll jump in the carriage to make it a mission. Cool. Yeah, maybe in the, the afternoon stream if you feel like it. All right, Tim, I don't know if you can play this afternoon, but uh, if not this afternoon, a different one. I'd love to do a joint mission. Whoppa, Cyan, 10-133, calling from 10133, the Cyan man coming here of the 10 uh, bits. Thank you so much, Cyan. A shout out for this... Uh, 
a kind person and, st and streamer that has been dropping by here for a while now. Uh, has been playing some uh, Train Sim World too. All right, all, all sorts of things. The simulator got trains, we got trucks, we got cars, we got airplanes. I'm trying to fly this BN2, and I cannot. I even I put a sticker in my look. I'll show you. I put a sticker in my in my in my dashboard. Okay, but I still cannot get a good luck. I'm gonna have to put like uh, some uh, I don't know some uh, what are the things you put in the foot of horses? I have to put some horseshoes on this plane for good luck or something. Because, uh, look, I, I even tried to remind myself yesterday, I put boom there by the airspeed indicator, alright? To remind myself that I shouldn't go much above 150 if I don't want to go boom, okay? But that didn't even work, I hit the wing on something and it went boom anyway. I'm gonna have to put something on the wing to remind myself, what the heck? I think too much talking and flying is the problem. Um, <laughs> Shiba says you're hired. <laughs> Sorry, super busy date this. I have to run. Cop copy that, Tim. Thanks for dropping by. Um, thanks so much for those bits. And Timmy Thumb says won't be able to this afternoon. Afternoon's general are not good, but perhaps some other time. Copy. Maybe we can do it on a weekend or something. You know, because when you stream, usually all these people in Europe are, are asleep. You need to fly a fly a horseshoe. <laughs> this look. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna add that one to the quotes of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here we go. Another one by Shipa. Uh, uh, it's very rough, my notes here, but, uh, you know, it works for now. Um, dream hack is on always. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's... We bought another BN2, okay? We, we we're paying off some uh, some loans here. Let's pay a little bit of this one, okay? I don't, don't want to feel like I have a bunch of money and I can just throw it around. I want to pay off the loans, okay? We are about a million, uh, almost ha about half a million dollars in debt here. Let's try a mission one again, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Should we try a rescue one for a change? Uh, these islands, they don't have a lot of places for you to land though. There's that little beach there. I could try that beach. That could be interesting. That's the rescue mission, but... Oh, that's an iffy one. That's an iffy one. I think I'm just going to go and deliver some cargo here. Try to keep it simple for now. Uh, right click and... Uh... 54 nautical miles, let's do it. Let's go check out the airport. Copy that ship of StarCraft 2 Torment. Alright. Let's go towards Tortola here and deliver some uh, cargo, okay? Connect and fly. I need a 691 pounds weight and I need to be on uh, Papa Romeo 1.8. Let's go back here and go to Papa Romeo 1.8. Papa Romeo 1.8. And uh, let's try this again. Wind is coming from 116. Okay. I'm going to try to do the same thing I did and I'm going to be go from the outside and sit, be very careful with that building there. Okay. Weight and balance, so what was it, uh, 6, 9, or 1? I used to be able to press tab here, I can't anymore since the last sim update. Uh, Double Studios, please, please fix that up. Okay, and uh, I'll give myself 180 pounds. What was it, 6, 9, 1? So, uh, 500 in the back there. Out of... Six. Nine one. Can I put a? Can I pretend I'm putting uh, some some stuff on by my seat here? The four hundred there, and the one hundred there. How's that? There you go. Six nine or one. We are good to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fly. Transporter from dispatch. It's a cargo mission today. When you check the payload and the flight plan, please release your parking brake to start. Transporter form dispatch. Loading cargo. Please stand by. What the heck did I crash into last time? I think it was this building. Look at this little building here. I think I smashed in that house.
this this little house here was responsible for us going boom okay you can start your mission all right remember wheels down wings up <laughs> xbox doesn't have tab Do you guys watch like movies and stuff on your Xbox? Can you use that that for movies as well? I'm not familiar with the Xbox. Oh, I did it the other way around, but I think that should just work. I don't know if it simulates the 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 order you press the buttons to. Turn everything on. Power forward. Like to hear that engine. Clear prop out there, Vinny. Let's try again. Let's try again. We're departing straight out. And we're gonna head to uh where is this uh toop j tango unicorn papa juliet all right tango unicorn Papa and Juliet over here. Enter, enter, activate. All right, 54 nautical miles. I'm gonna set this for GPS. Uh, let's already set the altitude here. We don't have to do it when we're flying, about 2500. Gonna be nav. All right. Make sure it's off. I don't like to break off of the autopilot on. Probably not a good idea. The hitbox is probably rectangular. Remember, wheels down, wings up. Yeah, I, I'm worried about that thing. I'm gonna stay away from this little. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna taxi far away from it. But I, I, I think I, I think it was my mistake. I just hit that house of, with my left wingtip. So, but let's see what happens. Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna taxi way to the left there. Okay. Let's go. Oh, almost decapitated that guy. Let's stay in the outside view for now. Here, watch out. I'm going to call you when I need to tear down a wall for the new patio. <laughs> Copy that, Kerr. I'll just, uh, you know, come and crash a BN2 into it. I'm gonna go over here to... I mean, but look at the positioning of that house. You know, if you're attack I was taxiing normally down the runway. I didn't expect there to be a house there that would hit my wing on it. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, that's better. My neighbor will be pleased. <laughs> All right. Laps to take off position. Let's should we try another should we try another flyby view? Let's try another flyby view. Stand by. Right at the end of the runway.
right there all right release the camera uh get plane control okay i have plane control right now i always check with the zoom full power it was that of the latest update to make someone crash another bn2 <laughs> oh go i'm gonna put flaps to take off position because i want to go a little faster here rotate transporter good flight flaps up See, I like what, what the problem with turning the engine sound down in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and you don't that you don't have the um, the independent controls for outside or inside uh, sounds of the engine is that uh, you know I would like to hear a really loud one. I should I have to remember to turn it loud before the flyby will be uh, it will be uh, a little more uh, exciting. But uh, we'll get there. Might as well put the heading bearing correct here as well. We're uh, track uh, nine nine nine, about a hundred. And we should be able to just be able to just click the autopilot now and have it engage. And here, uh, back to the airplane. Just press 5 on the number keypad, it'll put the drone view back of the airplane. Here's a beautiful Caribbean and coral reefs down there. Very gorgeous. Let's add it to the latest update to make Simon Crash another BN2. It's gonna be a t-shirt. I have another I have another BN2 t-shirt idea that's gonna happen. But that's probably gonna be another one. Kerr, today uh, I got a mess. Uh, uh, November asked me uh, about um, what's it called uh, the the uh, where you're working from because the last one I had they had Brazil. They had put that there, you know. I don't know, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But uh, I, you know, I said no. I'm here in the states now. Hopefully that's not a problem. We'll see what happens. Wow, crazy. I went flying BN2, but all that survived was that t shirt <laughs> Yeah. Problem is, that would, that would reflect more badly on the airplane than the pilot. Maybe it should be, uh, I went flying with a hyper and all, I, all that survived was this t-shirt. Hey, our pilot's not working. What's the matter? There you go. The track's kind of wrong. We've been. I just want it there in case you know something goes terribly wrong, like some Bermuda Triangle style stuff happens and we can't see anything anymore. The electrical systems of the airplane get shut down and we have to force ourselves to navigate based on just the heading bug. The heading bug. Rick's Ribeiro 15 out there, ladies and gentlemen.
It's good that Contity wasn't even notified. Yeah, I told him, yeah, just the uh, app New York City. Thanks, Kerr. Anyway, I'm going to be home for Elite Ground Mission if you like later. Copy that. Um, after lunch, the 2 p.m. stream, I will be ready for an Elite Ground Mission. Uh, we can set up a place to meet, but every, uh, you guys have pretty long jumping ships now. I'm in the bubble. Uh, I'm where Timothy Thumb Th 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 is based, uh, I think, uh, an area, a system called Pathamon. That's what I'm currently at, but I'm happy to go and fly to a Sheepa ship or whatever. Also, at this altitude, how long do you think you can tr fly before landing? Opa, Chupernas, how you doing? Uh, oh, watch out, hey. You're gonna make me turn up my, my engine off? If you're thinking about that and you do that, it's gonna probably cause a crash because, uh, let's see. Yeah, I can't fly very far at all. Look, there's nothing here. If you want to turn my engine off, I would wait till I'm, um, if any wants me to actually see, try to land, I would wait till I'm here above, uh, around here. I could then divert to the airport, but it's up to you, you know, if you want me to lose another BN2, uh, that's up to you. Good afternoon, Chupernas. Some shout outs here in the stream. Let's say hello to CurWT. I know I'm an IRL and in video games. Say hi to Chupernas, hailing from Portugal, with that lovely codfish comes from another great my video game and Microsoft Flight and uh, Flight Simulator Flan. Asobo just released the Aviat Husky A1C. What is that? Let's go check that out. Let's go check that out. What is an Aviat Husky? Is Aviat sounds like a, an European uh, aircraft manufacturer. Let's take a look. Let us take a look, ladies and gentlemen. Some news coming in here from the streams. Uh, where is OBS? Let me double check that uh, things are appearing uh, where I want them to appear. The Microsoft Flight Simulator and then this. Look at my airspeed. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut down on the airspeed. Okay, it's close to the boom there. Ooh, nice. Does it come with a, f a float variant? Look at that. Go check it out. Oh, this looks like a classic airplane. First flight, 1986. Okay, a more modern one. Look at the look how the shape of the wing is nice. 14.99 and Microsoft. Uh, fighting your marketplace. I'm sending Jimmy an email. More cash flow, Jimmy. <laughs> Copy that ship. I'm, I apologize. Uh, I do need more cash flow before I can buy these airplanes. Well, thanks, keys. Awesome. This one of floats. And it looks like a Cessna. I think my next plane is going to be the... Um, the same people that make this BN2 Islander. There's gonna be um, their other plane from Microsoft Flight Team Leader 2020, um, the Bird Dog. Because they just updated the sound for that too, and I heard it's really nice. And that comes with float variants as well. So I think that's gonna be my next plane, but uh, I don't know. Sound, very important for me. I like planes of good sound. Uh, yeah, I heard that curve with your engines off. I, I wouldn't be able to glide very far at all with this airplane right here. If I'm over land, I, uh, I recommend to do it there if you want to see an attempt at landing. Otherwise, it's just going to be a ditch. Shout out to Shippa. Shout out to Wild Craze. Galaxica getting her vaccine today. Another one to Cyan. 10133. Jimmy Thumb drop about drop by. As did it's Domit. Doing some game design now, I believe. Video game design is, uh, I think if I was much younger, I would, uh, I would love to get into the industry, but it also, you know, if you get a bad company, 
A lot of them, a lot of them are not good companies. Then it can be like a hell as well. They make you work long hours, you know. I mean, look what's happening with uh, Blizzard right now. Lovely weather out there. Or play Microsoft SpaceX Starship Simulator. <laughs> Is it is it is my sim toolkit pro frozen? No, I think it's it's okay. I'm at 87 degrees. Let's check that. Yeah, that looks about right. Just went over some sort of beacon below us. Ah, must be like a boy in the water or something. I don't know what that represents, but uh. Maybe I should do another Edemo, turn off one engine for the rest of the flight or something. Nice to make things go boom. So is is there is that a real Microsoft SpaceX Starship simulator or is that your make you comment about my, my ability of flying the BN2 Islander here? <laughs> I want Google to complete of Microsoft to make a flight sim. They need some more competition. I mean, you got, you know, you have a X-Plane, you have a Prepare 4D, whatever it's called. But I think that we need another big, uh, big tech company competing. Whoa. Not under fire, it's just like this big helicopter flew by. I tried to see what it was. I think it was a V-22 Osprey. Couldn't see it. I just played something that makes a big boom. That's why I play War Thunder at times, you know, or like Ghost Recon yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, after after a long time with uh, civilian flight sims, I also I need a big boom. I mean, they need to make stuff that lands anywhere and drives away. <laughs> yeah, I miss. Uh, I mean, that's why it's my you know my common complaint to uh, the Microsoft Flight Sim. No damage modeling, no explosions. You know, it's one of the exciting things in video games to have explosions. So uh, why why not? Uh, why not simulate some uh, some damage here, some explosions, so we can, you know, see things go boom without getting hurt or hurting anybody. How are we doing? Halfway there. The British Virgin Islands. Is this where uh, that Branson guy lives? Xerxes plays. Xerxes, some god. It was also the. Wasn't that the computer system in the System Shock games? Scary. Did we clip the civilian that was silencing Ghost Recon? Uh, I didn't, but definitely it should make that a, uh, a highlight or a clip. <laughs> He's gonna talk. 
I haven't I haven't gone to look at that yesterday because I was I was a little tired yesterday after playing a lot. I'm a little tired today, but um, I do eventually towards the end of the week go back and and look at all the streams and I make a note of some things that happen and try to clip. Um, The husky, huh? Interesting. Let's go see. Aviat Husky, where where the Chuperna said is released by uh Was it a Sobo? Let's see. Chupernas a Sobo. A Sobo Aviat Husky. Let's go check out Stormblurs, one of my favorite uh, flight sim blogs. Here it is. Alright. I love the blush blinks too. Here's the link that I'm looking that I was just looking at a moment ago. How many small tail dragons do we have now? Uh, I mean, there's the what? There's the the extra and the and the biplane, the pits. There's uh, there's the two sh and those are both in a standard Microsoft edition, flight simulator edition. There's the um, shock old. The Shock Ultra and the the X Cub Shock Ultra and the X Cub Savage Cub, the Cubs. Then uh, from this, from the people that make the BN2 Islander, there's the Bird Dog, which is a version of a of a Cessna. It's a tail dragger, I think. And there's some others. Those are the ones I can think of at the top of my head, but. Uh, well, I have, there's the biplane that I have, the PT-17 Sermon. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of turbulence here. That's pretty nice. At that mouse or that stupid thing on the top gets away. I like tail draggers. I mean, I'm comfortable with them because, you know, I like World War II flight sims and uh, and they feature prominently, obviously, the tail draggers. So, uh... Yeah, I like tail draggers a lot. Some screenshots here for the uh, socials later. Flying the Caribbean, some Neofly missions after another broken BN2 Islander today is like the running joke of the stream now. Today's crash was a uh, lack of attention. I was eating while taxiing the airplane and I hit the side of a house. Not that I mind him, but I have a bit variety than three, four similar ones. Yeah, I hear you. I think variety is good too. A little bit of deforestation on this side here. 
Um, yeah, I, I I want like more really old planes, you know, like from the from the twenties, the thirties. I think those are fun to fly. I have that Blériot nine or eleven island fly out there. And we got Nick with three C's, two K's, four five three six. We are only six nautical miles to go from uh, our destination, Tango, Unicorn, Papa, Juliet. Let's see if there is a tower at this airfield. Terence B. Letsum. That's a funny name. Yay! There is a tower. What, what plane do you want the most wild? Any particular one that... Oh, they're straight in, okay. Oh, already cleared me to land, okay. Uh, let's see, um... Predict, is it on still? Simtoke Pro, it is. Alright, there's a leaderboard. Autopilot, uh, turned off. Throttle way back, so do we avoid going boom? They want to dash eight, either a hundred or Q two hundred. All right. Yeah, I, I mean those are you know those are those take longer because they're they're proper like passenger airplanes. So, but I'm, there's people working on that, right? Isn't there someone working on a dash eight? I had left the auxiliary fuel pumps on. I'm just gonna keep them on now. Thank you, uh, Wild Craze. Negative 99. Sheepa coming over negative 82. Copy that. Thank you, Sheepa. Two parents like more classic, like DC-6. I, I would love, uh... Wait, is the DC-6 the one that's coming for IL-2? The, uh... The classic uh, World War II transport plane? If that's the case, I would love to fly that airplane, too. The two-engine, uh... There's a 400 by Majestic in the words, but that's too big for my airport. Copy that. Alright, let's sterilize the cockpit. Let me stop looking at the sound. Let's just try to go in here. I do want to put the, the sound a little higher for us to hear the wheel touch down. There you go. quite fast and maybe I have a tail oh flaps all the way down I forgot to put it to down position instead of uh, takeoff that tree is a little bit worrying oh turn off engine shit all right Engine failure, okay. Sorry, Kura, I had to... What? <laughs> and Kura, what? what a trick! <laughs> That's a dirty trick, huh? Transport he redeemed it, and then he... And then he... And then he, and then he, he predicted high, and he... <laughs> that, was, that was totally rigged, but hey, he used his points. He used his hypertext points, so... Uh, Okay, people are so scared, they're jumping out of the airplane. Here we go. Yeah, they're gonna be upset about that. Hey, engine failure here. I'm like, uh, I'm gonna be able to explain that, uh, you know. Uh... <laughs> that is smart, though. <laughs> he used the points and that he knew that, you know, it would be like, if I turn off the engine there, it's gonna be a... All right, air traffic control. Wow, all right, Kerr. An applause. For that uh, trick, I mean, am I gonna have to? Here's a question for people who know more about streaming than I do. If, uh, let's say, I wanted to change how much channel points, um, 
Let's say instead of having a thousand, I wanted to make it one. Would would that reset everyone's channel points, or would that make you have a thousand times more? Because uh, I wanted to reset to something more manageable based on some ideas I'm having, but I don't know if uh, it's fair. I don't. I don't want. I, I want to make it fair. Okay. I care with eighteen now. Updating landing rate leaderboard. It was smart. It was a it was a very stra a strategic move. He waited to write, and you know, and there's a delay on the stream. There's about I think a five second delay between when I'm saying something and you're hearing it. But he waited to the last moment, and boom! Uh, what well, what was it? Minus five sixty one. At least I didn't crash. Wow! And the mission is successful. Okay. <laughs> Hello, computer. This one, Lockheed L1011 TriStar, the Super Constellation Electro. Oh, those would be awesome. I would love, like, a Connie. Oh, the, uh, yeah, the su the Constellation Super Connie. Awesome. Never fair. I have a lot of points. Yeah, I know. You've been here from the beginning, so it's never going to be fair. That's true. And Chuperna says, those are some of the classics I would like to see in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Agreed, and I think that all, most of the stuff is going to be coming, I think, right, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, I think there's a mass of people working on flight sims on, uh, on, uh, on stuff for this flight sim now, because uh, there, there's a, you know, and it's out on Xbox now, so, that, so there's a, there's a quite a visible excitement, I feel, about this game. And, um, what time is it? You have time for something else? And it costs, a, costs your life in Coast Record because you're paying attention here as well. <laughs> well, Chris says your prices doesn't affect my purse. Thanks for all these, uh, maybe I should start a poll, uh, I should add, let me, let me add, let me take this, some of the stuff you're, you're, you guys are talking about here. Let me put it on my notes. And, uh, and maybe we can start something else on the stream about, you know, maybe some sort of a voting mechanism. I could try to do something on the website about planes you want to, you want to see most. Um, 400 by Majestic, because it's also, it's nice for me to hear about all, all these airplanes. Because uh, I don't know all these airplanes, you know, I... I'm more familiar with World War II and fighter planes, because that's what I grew up playing in, in flight simulators. But, um... But, uh... I don't know about a lot of these other ones, and this is very rough notes, I'll get there. I'll get that uh, cleaned up later. Alright, so now my question, back to Neofly here. Okay, I landed here. There you go, my airplane is here. Okay, I think what had happened before is that I was flying a multiplayer session and maybe someone had logged in and uh, and I hadn't clicked end or something, but now I sh if I restart Neofly, I should be here at Tango uh, Unicorn Papa Juliet. Uh, you see lots of business jets there, a lot of billionaires uh, hanging out at the islands there. Look at that. A lot of small airplanes too, though. Heavy helos. Alright, so now if I restart new flight, I should be here at uh, with my airplane hyper crash Britain Norman Islander with this new uh thing in this new uh tail number. And one thing I did forget is I forgot the insurance. So we were flying without insurance there. Good thing Kerr didn't make me, you know, blow up my airplane. Alright, so let's go uh, start the insurance. Okay, and even with that smash uh whole steel steam's okay. We'll do one more short one. Uh, I'm 45. I think I'm going to run the outro, people, because uh, I often uh, I've been sort of uh, going a little bit over, and then I have to rush for lunch, and then uh, I'm a little tired. So I want to uh, I want to have a more calm lunch today. So uh, while the outro is running, and let me get a uh, game capture turn on here. While the outro is running, I'm going to, uh, oh, I wanted to, not this door, I want to close that door, the cargo door, so we can see, thank you to our followers back there. All right. 
while the ultra is running someone had suggested someone to to i think it was joey suggested someone for me to to raid the other day but uh, at this point i forgot i did go there and give the the gentleman a follow he was speaking german which is not always ideal but um but he spoke english very well and it was nice to to drop by his channel but right now let's go see who else is fly microsoft flight simulator or some other uh flight sim and uh one hour 50 is not bad stream time thanks so much shippa thanks for uh dropping by thank you wow craze thank you Kerr, for for that especially for that last little bit of excitement on the stream and for the irl stuff as well uh, I'll be back. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for someone to, to raid now, but I will be back in just a couple over a couple of hours with some Elite Dangerous. I'm going to be in my ship in open play. Uh, I'm uh, Commander Griffey in Elite Dangerous in case you want to play and you have an enemy as a friend there. We're going to try a ground mission together. All right. Uh, who is out there? Let's see. Uh, the Flying Fabio is out there. Let's let's We could go say hi to the Flying Fabio, but let's first drop by and see if there's anyone below us here who doesn't have a lot of... Uh, loads of viewers who could be interesting we have uh rob rob 2017 seems like a nice guy let me go let's go see this guy it has six viewers all right go raid rob rob 2017 thank you so much for being here everyone whether you're chatting or not i appreciate it very much hypertech zero out for a couple of hours see you later peace out Galaxia Cat, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Hypertext Hero, thank you for the raid and the follow. I don't want to go in that quick. Hey, we didn't crash land, and we are in a bunch of trees. Um, yeah, I crashed, technically. As you can tell, I'm very much not a professional flyer. <laughs> I'm not a professional at anything. Hypertext, how was your stream? And what were you playing? Welcome in, guys. My name's Rob. Um, variety streamer. Mainly play uh, MLB, though. <laughs> yes, Troy, you would be very dead. Uh, whoops, not what I wanted to do. 